Good afternoon, and welcome to More Than Meets the Eye. I'm your host, Blind Prime, and for today, we will be covering the Transformers Legacy Wreck and Rule Collection, Leadfoot. Next video will be on Master Domus, but I wanted to cover Leadfoot first because I have these other Formula One race cars, the Drag Strip from Legacy and the Netflix Mirage. So we're going to talk about, you know, this fun Formula One race car and do some size comparison stuff. So here we go. The, uh, the lead foot and drag strip. Let me straighten his legs out so we get a nice size comparison here. They all stand next to each other very well. And I really, um, I'm really looking forward to more Formula One race cars because, you know, that'd be really cool to actually have just a, um, just a, uh, you know, an entire racetrack filled with Formula One race cars. I think it would have been neat if uh, Blur had been a Formula One race car as well and they had figured out another way to trans to do the transformation. Oh yeah, so here they all are. They, they're they pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we'll move Dragstrip off to the side because we're kind of done with Dragstrip. You know, he, he's, he's an awesome figure and uh, definitely out of the Formula One race cars, I've enjoyed his transformation the most and also appreciate the fact that he doesn't have any faux forming. He is straight up Dragstrip. And... Um, these guys have some faux forming on their chests, which I'm a little annoyed by, but I, I get it. I get it. You got the, the size comparison stuff. It, it, it's, a, um, it's a missed opportunity, I think. I think it would have been cool to have something unique, like an actual transforming area, like, like, like Drag Strip here. Drag Strip's really awesome. His transformation was a lot of fun. There's no faux, faux forming. There's, it's, it's just really cool, and I enjoyed that transformation a lot. So... Let's talk about these two guys. The, the uh, Siege Mirage mold and then the Kingdom Mirage mold, which Leadfoot is using the Kingdom Mirage mold. But I have this thing about collecting multiple characters and there wasn't, much, there wasn't enough of a difference between the Kingdom Mirage mold and Mirage's mold. So I just uh, it wasn't in my budget to afford another Mirage since I already had one. And he's in Decepticon colors and I think that's kind of neat. So... There you have it. I don't actually like my Mirage figure that much because he's got some issues to him. So we're going to talk about that. All right. So first off, the Siege Mirage has a big issue of just you know wanting to fall apart. You got to kind of clip things in, but he's just he's just not. I don't know. There's just something missing about him that that makes everything annoying. Um, not like Leadfoot. They fixed the problems that they had. You know, you know just yeah, just go over there. Good God. Uh, so. This guy is, he is not as poseable as normal figures. And of course, you know, he came with this cool rocket. And it's um, where the Mirage came with a gun and then this little rocket off to the side. But the rocket couldn't actually fit in his gun. This Mirage actually comes with a piece that the rocket can fit into. So he has now a rocket launcher. And that's neat. So let's talk about Mirage, um, Leadfoot here. Leadfoot has got all the articulation that we have come to expect from, you know, since the Siege line. It's really nice. We've, sadly, you know, his, his elbows only pull to 90. His fists are annoying. They, they, they're they not, they don't clip into place when you unwind them. So just boom, and the smallest amount of, of pressure causes the fist to rotate back into the fist hole, which is what I'm calling that, that blank area in his wrist where the fists go in. For now on, we're just going to call that the fist hole. So anytime in the future, whenever I come across a transformer that has a huge negative zone where the fist is supposed to fold in, that's the fist hole. I, I like that name. It makes me smile. So that's how it's going. You know, I name things things that make me smile. So there you go. Uh, yeah, that, that that is a bit annoying on that. But uh, elbows pull a, a 90 only. The shoulders only pull about a 75 on each side because of the... Um, because of these shoulder guards, but you can spin these shoulder guards and then get a little more, a little more flexibility, but not much, not much. These uh, the shoulder guards are of course his uh, his spoiler for the Formula One race car, and we're going to get to that when we talk about sculpt work because I I love the sculpt work on this guy. He's so much fun. So let's get further. He's got waist rotation 360 degrees. He can spin it all the way around, and then knee wise he's got. Decent knee joint. That has got some, it's got some um, restrictiveness to it. It's not too loose. It's a good knee joint. And it feels like it's got like three modes. But 
it can fold back pretty far. It pulls more than a 90. And I like that out of this knee joint. That's a good knee joint. And then, of course, we've got the... Um, I got a weapon here on his side. I'm just going to remove it. Okay, we're going to set that down. Um, come down to his feet, and his feet can move slightly because of transformation. They can move up and down slightly, and they also have that sidewards foot tilt that we have come to love and expect from our deluxe class Transformers since War for Cybertron. Good job. And for his comparison, I have uh, one more comparison, actually. Um, where did he go? He was right. Oh, 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 is this you? Yeah, yeah, here he is. Okay, so here is... No, no, that's Mirage. Oh, no, no, that's... What are you? Oh, that's that's not it. Uh, oh, oh, here he is. Here he is. Cool, cool, cool. Here is uh, Twin Twist. I wanted to do a nice side-by-side -side with Twin Twist and Leadfoot here. So here's a good... Ah, good Twin Twist. Good grief. Your, your weird... Uh, uh, backpack things always always get caught up in my twin twist here has a problem with a very 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 loose knee and uh that's really annoying but we got that nice size comparison here we go twin twist is slightly taller than um than lead foot and a little bit wider and a little bit thicker but then again Leadfoot, you know, Twin Twist is from the Titans Return generation of toys, and Leadfoot here is from the Kingdom. And the War for Cybertron line, they did diminish the size of the Transformers, but I feel like they improved on the Transformers design. So where the Leadfoot here has side ankle tilt, the Twin Twist does not. But there's a nice side by side. We'll put them back to back. They can be fighting Decepticons together back to back. And there we go. So put Twin Twist off here to the side. We're done with Twin Twist for right now. All right. Let's get back to this guy. So that was a nice size comparison of Twin Twist to let you know exactly, you know, how the records are going to fit next to each other. Uh, Twin Twist may be kind of the odd man out, but it's good to have a medium range transformer. So when you're like lining them all up, you, you get a nice scale. So we're going to now get into the sculpt work of this guy. This guy's sculpt work is top notch. I, I love the paint applications to it and i like the plastic they used it feels shiny it feels smooth it feels dense it's it's not it's not at all the uh what what they made mirage out of this this plastic that mirage is made out of doesn't feel the same it, maybe it's the paint apps they used but even even some of the corner areas where you can actually feel the thickness of the plastic the siege mirage is actually a little thinner in some spots than the uh than the Kingdom Mirage Mold. That's interesting. I, I find that really, really intriguing. But that's that. So sculpt work continuing. On his chest, we've got his, um, you've got the, the, the front end of the Formula One race car kind of smudged, uh, smudged together, or smushed together, it's a bit smushed. And um, you've got these nice, like the front wings of the uh, car, the ones that, that go right in front of the front wheels. The wheel guards, if you will, that help the wind. Uh, they're, they're really well sculpted there. And then you have the, the back spoiler that's on his shoulders. And this thing is really well sculpted as well. You got little, you got a couple of lines in there of different pieces of metal that have been welded together. He's so sleek and shiny feeling. You know, this guy feels like he goes fast. Um, the, I haven't come across many Transformers that, when you're in their robot mode, still, they feel like they go fast. You know? Um, I wish I could say that about the Studio Series 86 Blur, but those weird doohickeys that, that come off the sides of his arms don't make him feel, don't, don't make him seem like he goes fast. It makes him seem, seem like he's an ancient wizard with, you know, the long, drooping uh, robe sleeves. Anyway. Um, yeah, so... Leadfoot here is a must-have in my opinion. He is a good figure. He is solid. He doesn't nothing nothing rattles around except for his wheels. When we turn around to his back. He's got a nice clean backpack, but that's come to expect if especially if you've had the Siege Mirage in your life, you know that the backpack is decent. Though they did different things with it. And actually because of what they did, they've added, they've managed to make the Leadfoot's backpack back area a lot sturdier than Mirage's. Uh, I appreciate that a lot. I really love the fact that when we get these two molds that are based off of one another, we can 
actually see that Hasbro took the time to go, okay, these, these parts about the Siege Mirage absolutely sucked. They were terrible, and there were some bad QC problems. So let's fix that with Leadfoot. And Leadfoot is the first repaint, remold, that I've come across that is sturdier than the mold it's based on. I just, it's, wow, that is so cool. I really like that. The, you know, that's neat. Anyway, guys, this has been my review of Drag Strip. I, not Drag Strip, of Leadfoot. I recommend him. He's got, he's got an awesome body. His face is really cool. I didn't even talk about his face until now. He's got a face mask. He's a robot with a face mask. Oh my God. And he's got deep set eyes. That's cool. I like this guy. This guy is straight up just one of those. He, he's, he feels like a fast acting war hero or something. You know, he's like a, uh, his head just, yeah, it's cool. He's, he's a cool guy. He's cool all the way around. And I can't wait to show off his transformation and then talk to you later about Master Damas because, you know, Master Damas was really, I thought was going to be the highlight. But I've got a lot of problems with Master Damas. I don't have any problems with Leadfoot. Leadfoot has been the highlight of that dual pack. This figure is so much better than its Siege counterpart. And I never got the Kingdom one. So, um, you know, let me know if the Kingdom one is the same way, if Kingdom Mirage is better than Siege Mirage. I think I've gone on long enough for today. I hope you've enjoyed the show, and please tune in next Prime, where I will be teaching you, the viewer, uh, how to transform Leadfoot here from his robot mode into his vehicle mode. And one last thing before I go, I am willing to buy a Cosmos from any of you, my viewers. If any of you find a Cosmos at Walmart, let me know. I will purchase it from you. Uh, Cosmos is one of my favorite characters from Generation 1. I have, I have his friend here. Uh, I just, you know, Skylinks, and uh, I, 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 just, I just want my little, my little UFO robot friend. He's just such a cool little chubby dude, and he's so, he's so awesome, and he, he's just, he's just the ultimate stoner robot. I always imagine him and Beachhead hanging out on the beach when Optimus Prime allows Cosmos to come back to Earth. Oh, he always sends Cosmos away. Cosmos is always so sad about it. He's like, but I love people. I don't want to be alone in space. Anyway, um, if any of you come across Cosmos at Walmart, you know, shoot me a message, let me know, send me a tweet, you know, make a remark on one of my comments on this video or something like that. Let me you know you found a Cosmos and you're willing it, willing to send it to me. Um, and I will pay you for it because I really, really want a Cosmos. And every Walmart in my area is just, Cosmos missing. Everything else is there. They haven't bought a single other action figure from the Velocitron line. All the other Velocitron lines were there, minus Cosmos. And that was just a, oh man, I really hate the fact they packaged one Cosmos per box. Why would you do that? We don't want three blurs. Nobody wants three blurs. <sighs> okay. I've gone on long enough. Thank you for watching. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think and uh, if you can find a Cosmos. Until next time, bye-bye for now.